everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, this week I have for you a DIY collaboration with Sarah from Sensational Finds. Um, I have for you a DIY Dollar Tree outdoor activity. Mine is the Sponge Bomb. They're really fun and exciting and easy and cheap to do. So if you want to see my wonderful activity called the Sponge Bomb, keep on watching. Um, I will link down below Sarah's channel and her fun DIY Dollar Tree inspired activity. I believe it's going to be a wipeout for young children to have fun outside. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so today on my channel, we are doing sponge bombs. And they're very simple and they're really quite fun for the children and even for the adults. All you will need is a pair of scissors, some hair elastics that you can get at Dollar Tree. You can get scissors at Dollar Tree and you can get sponges at Dollar Tree, which these are not from Dollar Tree, but my next set I'm definitely going to be making more are going to be from Dollar Tree. I got these at Walmart and they're wavy. Not the perfect sponge, but it'll work. So all you do is you need three sponges per bomb. And I've done, like this one I'm doing three pink. This one I'm going to do two yellow and a pink. And I have some green with yellow and again two pinks and a yellow. So all you do is you take your sponge and you cut it in thirds going long ways. So for these bombs they're going to be a little wavy on some of them. And what you want to do is keep them in line when you are done cutting and it's okay if they're a little uneven in size as long as you have them in thirds and then you just lay them down at the table and again you do the same thing for three sponges and you can just pile them on top so as you cut them pile them up back in a stack so that you can then tie them up with the hair elastic and the last one it's a gorgeous day out so I figured I'd come out do a new scenery okay so when you have your three in your stack, all cut out. You're going to take a hair elastic and you're going to put it right through to the center and tie them. Twist it around, just like hair. And I'm assuming you can probably just use a regular elastic as well. I might end up doing that and then all you want to do is spread them out get it even and you spread them all out like this and you got yourself a sponge bomb that the children can then get wet with water and throw them around and it's simple as that so I think with my next ones instead of wasting hair elastics I'm going to go see, I think I have some regular elastics and it'll probably blend in a little bit better. Okay, so here are my four bombs, <laughs> sponge bombs. I think they came really cool. They're simple and easy to do. And I probably will try to get a few more. Um, we're going to be using them on Monday. It's Friday now, so I have the weekend to go get a few more. Um, and I'll probably try to see if I can get maybe just like a little bag of regular elastics. I think that'll work as well but either way these might be tighter we'll see um, and I'll end up showing you a clip um, Monday after school is their last day 
um, for the two boys. Emma has preschool for Tuesday, Thursday, but we're going to have a big celebration with snacks and music and some fun activities, this being one of them. Um, the boys don't know. Emma kind of knows a few of them because she's here three days a week with me. So um, I will show you that and um, give it a try and let me know how it goes. I think these are going to be fun for the summer. Easy, fun summer Dollar Tree activity. Um, what else is better? <laughs> so go out there, go to your Dollar Tree and make some sponge bombs and get out there in the water and have fun. You can take them probably to the beach, um, you know, to a hotel and play in the pool or just here at home in the pool because we have a small pool. So enjoy. Throw them at someone. Oh, my son's getting me. Magic Show. Now with the band Thursday, Friday evenings, and opening Saturday, June 27th, our tribute to the Magic Show. Get him! Where are you going? Get the sponges. There's one over here. Yeah. I'm a bit of a foodie, and right now I'm starting to think about dinner. When I get home, I want to relax, All right, go. sit down, enjoy a nice meal. Well, that's when I came across the new Bon Appetit Thin Crust Frozen Pizzas. I first tried the Bon Appetit... Chew that up before you run. Pizza. It's so fresh, tangy basil, pesto, sliced mozzarella, and cherry tomatoes. It's just outstanding. So stop in. Yeah. And the other thing is I, I smashed my finger. Your number one hit music station, 92.0 Pro FM. <laughs> you got your phone over there. That's that news. Put the bubbles. Get your phone over there. Not yours, this is Emma's. This is yours. Yeah, those are probably not going to fit. Push them under the table. <laughs> and did you have a drink? Yeah. Make sure we drink.